Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hidden Dragon Pride brings to you part two of our case. Don't forget, uh, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Don't forget to comment on how you think I did. Uh, check out my links to Facebook as well as eBay for the promos. I'm not going to be trading any of them. They're for sale only, so be sure to check out the eBay links down below. And we're going to go into the Tachyon pack openings, so here we go. Alright, so, 24 packs of Tachyon, uh, unlimited edition. I've already done a full case of these uh, boxes. I'll put a, uh, if you want, I can put a link up to the first box or any of the boxes I did. Uh, not looking for anything out of here, really, except for Draco Sack, hopefully uh, Public Judgment Day, uh, Curricion, Sombre, the usual ones. Uh, not going to be going over commons or anything like that, but I will name off rares and uh, hollows that I get from the packs. Uh, if there's any silence, sorry about that. So, And here we go. First pack of this uh, 24 packs from this case. Got a rare number 69 and nothing else. I was pretty happy with the results of the case. Hopefully if I can sell everything, I'll uh, do alright. Uh, everything from the Tachyon packs the uh, and the Abyss Rising packs are for trade, so if you see something you like, be sure to send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, I pulled a rare Go 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 Gigas out of this pack. So starts off kind of slow. I am uh, voicing over this because when I actually did the opening, it was like two, three in the morning. So just in case I pulled something, I really didn't want to wake anybody up. So here we got a rare Chaos Exceeds Dark Fairy Cheer Girl, and nothing else. Uh, it did average out to be about one every three packs, just like an actual box. So you know, it is worth it to spend the money for a case. The only thing I was sad about was getting all hidden Arsenal 5s. Here we got a rare Trifortress Ops and a secret rare Torrential Reborn. <clears throat> Torrential is actually an underrated secret, uh, especially uh, if you're using it in Mermails. Uh, anytime you, you can use it in combination with uh, the actual Torrential Tribute or Dark Hole or anything that gets rid of your monsters on the field, then bring them back and inflict burn damage. Here we have a rare Harpy's Pet uh, Phantasmal Dragon, and nothing else. And then you can deal 500 points to your opponent for each monster you bring back, and then you can still go into your other plays. So, it's actually a really good card. It's, it has to be one of those well-timed cards of use. Here we have a Big Whales, our rare, and an Ultra Rare, Noble Knight Gualvachek. But yeah, you know, consider giving it a chest try in your water decks, whether it's Gishki or Mermails. And here we have a rare Wheel of Prophecy and nothing else. Now, uh, Glavish is not too bad. I haven't really looked into the whole Noble Knight um, archetype, but it seems to be a pretty decent card. Here we have a rare Mecha Phantom Beast, uh, Tether Wolf, I believe it was. Sorry for not showing that card. I was just excited and tired at the same time, so I was trying to get through this as fast as possible. We have a rare Fairy Cheer Girl, and nothing else. I was trying to get through. The, I still had Abyss Rising to do after this, so. Instead of doing it 10 by 10 by 10, I decided to break it up by promos and hidden arsenal and then all the galaxies attacking on. Here we have Fire Fist 4, I think it was. Uh, trying to do all the 4 Rhino 1 of the 2. Trying to do all the Tachyon in one opening and then the Abyss Rising in one opening. Mind Drain, it's a really good card. Here we have another Go 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 Gigas as our rare. So yeah, like I said, I was pretty happy with the packs, and I like it. I've already did a case opening, so <laughs> this was nothing new for me to open. Rise Bell is a good card. 
try Fortress Ops. And I can prevent, you know, OTKs, but not for long. Let's see, here we have uh, another Tether Wolf and Super Rare Fire Formation Goku. Fire Formation Goku is actually a pretty good fire formation card. Uh, when you activate it, you can target one set card on your opponent's side of the field. And as long as Gyoku's on the field, here we have a Fairy Cheer Girl. As long as Gyoku's on the field, that card cannot be activated. So, you, know, you can use that to stop one of their set spell or trap cards. And hopefully you hit the right one. Here we have another Fairy Cheer Girl. So it works similar to uh, Gyoku works similar to Night Beam, but it keeps the card on the field, but just prevents it from being activated. So we have about seven packs left. Hopefully, we will finish strong. And we have a rare Do a Barrel Roll and Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. Still a very good card, uh, very underrated. Uh, banish one level seven, draw two, and if you happen to banish one of the uh, dragon rollers, add another card to your hand. There we have uh, one of the I think it was Dust Knight and a super rare Hysteric Sign. So yeah, on the Sacred Sword, it's an essentially a plus three. I mean, excuse me, plus two. And we have a rare Exceeds Revenge. To me, it's a plus two. That's your drawing two and adding a third for the cost of one card. So, uh, Hysteric Sign, I don't know too much about. I haven't looked into the Harpy uh, decks. Here we have uh, the Ultra Rare Abyss Balin, the Not Used and uh, Burnt uh, Blaster Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Ironically, that was the only one I pulled out of 24 packs. Not too bad, I guess. But, figured you'd at least get two out of these. Uh, another Chaos Exceeds Dark Fairy Cheer Girl. But, Abyss Balin. A reason it's overlooked as a 7 Mermail, it is horrible. Uh, another Rise Bell, it's a good card. Triportress Ops as a rare. Uh, for Balin, you have to send four mermails with different names to the graveyard. Not exactly what you want to be doing. So, Awaka, decent card. Uh, Lead Joke, annoying as anything. But yeah, Balin's not doesn't have the greatest effect. But being a level seven, you could even use it with uh, Sacred Sword, banish it, draw two. So it has a purpose, just not one you really want to be drawing into. Uh, Fairy Cheer Girl as our rare. And one more pack to go. So let's see, I got four supers, or three supers, two ultras, and a secret. Not that bad out of 24 packs, actually, when they're randomly generated for unlimited packs. Rare do a barrel roll and end with an ultimate rare Constellar Omega which makes now the seventh or eighth one I pulled <laughs> that was like my monster from Tachyon Galaxy was Omega so recap we got super rare fire formation Gyoku uh, super rare sacred sword of the seven stars Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I get it all in the picture. Uh, Super Rare, Hysteric Sign. Ultra Rare, Mermail Abyss Balin. Ultra Rare, Noble Knight Gualvachad. Ultimate Rare, Constellar Omega. And our Secret Rare, Torrential Reborn. Alright, so this was my 24 packs. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons down below. Check me out on Facebook. Don't forget to comment. And this is Hidden Dragon, signing out.